What's up guys, Cream Puff K here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I know I say this a lot, but make sure you guys tap in because this video is going to be a banger. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button for your boy for amazing RNG next time you guys spin in the banner. So if you guys watched my last video, it was a YouTube short, you guys would know that I got my first mythical unit in Anime Adventures. It was Tatsuro right here, and since I have leveled him up to level 53, but in this video today, we're going to be evolving him into his evolved mythic form. So we're going to go over here to the evolve section in the lobby. We're going to talk to Beerus. So Tatsura needs two of these items called the Scales of Salamander to evolve him. Obviously, it takes all these star fruits and 3750 gold. And since the Tokyo Gold update came out like 10 days ago, I've been trying to grind these really hard with the challengers and it just takes forever. So luckily in the shop, I was able to secure two scales of the salamander. I believe they were like 3k gems each. Small price to pay for something really good. So let's go ahead and hop over to this evolved chamber and let's get this bread, boys. Here we go. Yes, yes sir. All right, pick unit. Tatsuro, where you at? Where you at? Tap in, tap in. Hey, so right here, it takes two of the scales and 20 of the Tokyo Gold Coffees, you get this from the story mode. Evolving him gives plus 10% damage, plus 2x burn damage, that's really good, and a new ability called Scorching Slam. Here we go, boys. Three, two, one. Hey, There he is. We got Tatsura Ignite Mythic, and we do have the range to trait on him. That's the trait I had before. We might go ahead and re-roll that for a different video. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and showcase this for you guys. So at level 53, he is doing 221 damage, 3.8 SPA, 9.4 range. I'm not exactly sure what it was before, but I can guarantee you it better than what it was in his base form. So we're going to go ahead and showcase him. Level 53, range 2. So he is having an increased range. It's obviously not going to affect his damage. Gonna go ahead and pull up into Namek, and because he is an evolved mythic, so not only is my first mythical, now he's my first evolved mythical. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up into infinite mode because I know mythicals are very expensive to upgrade. Dang, look at that. Leaderboard wave reached 209, bro. Go touch some grass or something. I know that took at least like five, six hours to do. Oh my gosh. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up into infinite mode. Let's go ahead and showcase Tatsura Ignite Mythic Evolved form. All right, y'all, we just pulled up into Namek. Let's go ahead and turn on those attack FX real quick. Turn on auto skip waves. Hopefully we don't lag. Let's turn up the game volume so you guys can hear his attack FX. So he does cost 1300 to place. He's the same amount of money to place as his base form. Uh, we'll let those ones go ahead and pass by. So he still does have a cone AOE at the start. I can definitely say he is stronger because I think that was one of the traits for evolving him to his mythic evolve form. I think it was 2x damage, so obviously that makes sense. I believe it was 2 or 3x damage, but nevertheless, he is stronger. So he's doing 221 damage, 3.8 SPA, 9.4 range, 1,650 yen for his first upgrade. Let's go ahead and do that now. So he is still cone AoE, a little bit bigger of a range. 369 damage, 3.3 SPA. Ooh, this is actually getting really low. So for his base form, it was like 3.5 going down to 3. Now it's already at 2.8. 10.6 range. Looks like he is still having the same attack effects. He's just slamming. All right, we're going to go ahead and do his second upgrade right now. Now he's doing 554 damage, 2.8 SPA, 11.8 range. Same attack animation. And we're going to get Pyrokinesis, so he's going to start burning at his next upgrade. That's going to cost 3,250 yen. We're going to go ahead and do that right now. And the, oh that my chill. gosh, that range is insane. Evolve your mythic units, guys. They get busted. That is insane range already, only on a third upgrade. And he's been relatively cheap, I'm not going to lie. So 1,200 damage. He is burning now. 7 SPA, that's around the same. 26.6 range. 4,500 yen for his fourth upgrade. Let's go ahead and do that right Now, all right, there's his attack effects. They're pretty much the same. So he transforms, goes ahead and burns them. There it is. But now he's doing 1,570 damage, 6.6 .6 SPA. So it did go down by 0.4 seconds, 27.2 range. 5,500 yen for his next upgrade.
go ahead and do his next upgrade right now, 5,500 yen. Now he's doing 2,032 damage, 6.6 .6 SPA, 28.3 range. Wow, he's cracked already. I'm not even going to lie. This was like his max stats on his base form. And we still have upgrades to go. Now he's going to get Incineration, a new move, for 7,000 yen. Sheesh! So his next one does cost 7,000 yen, so we're going to go ahead and start farming with the Bulma and get some extra cash. Set this to last for now, and then we can have a Kaneki down here just for some defenses at first. But we're going to go ahead and farm up some money, boys. Alright you guys, we do have enough for his 6th upgrade, Incineration, 7,000 yen, and it's not even his last upgrade yet, so now we're doing 2,586 damage, 6.6 .6 SPA, 28.9 range, that is a very decent sized cone AoE, and he's still burning, he's doing really good. 9,000 yen for his next upgrade, this is what I was talking about guys, he's so expensive, you guys gotta go into like infinite mode to showcase these mythic evolve units. Let's go ahead and do the upgrade now, still don't even have maxed out stats yet 29 55 damage 6.1 spa 30.7 range and there's that scorching slam ability for 12,000 yen this ability is given when you evolve his mythic form and it's nice to see his spa is still going down i'm actually pretty excited to see what his aoe turns into i'm curious to know if the aoe is going to change when i do scorching slam upgrade because judging by the name it's going to turn circle aoe but for 12,000 yen let's go ahead and do it right now Oh, I was right, but hey, wow, that is a really big circle AoE. I'm not even mad. I'm not going to lie. I'm not mad at all. It's actually good. W upgrade, W upgrade, 3,325 damage, 5.6 SPA, 31.9 range. That 5.6 SPA is amazing. Oh my gosh, that circle AoE is huge too. I was expecting like a small circle AoE, so the cone would have been better, but this circle AoE is pretty busted, not going to lie. Let's go ahead and sell this Kaneki for some extra cash, upgrade this Bulma. He's going crazy with the slam. Call it Scorching Slam. Here we go. Sheesh. I don't even know what just happened. Bruh. Let's get a better view of it right here. Oh my gosh. So it's 14,500 yen for his ninth upgrade. Oh my goodness. How many upgrades this guy got? Let's go ahead and upgrade our Bulma. Yeah, these enemies are not even getting past because the circle AoE is so big. And I think it's dragging all the way back here. Enemies don't even spawn back here. So honestly, enemies could walk like right here and it would still attack the whole base. Still don't have enough to upgrade. Probably gonna have to wait till like wave 20 or something. Yeah, boys, let's get this bread. absolutely destroying these enemies before they even come out they're dead watch this right here this 2700 dead one shot oh oh my man's standing a chance huh? but he is getting burned as you guys can see there we go guys we have twenty seven thousand dollars. hopefully it's last upgrade there we go upgrade number nine three thousand six hundred ninety four damage 5.6 sp 32.5 range oh my gosh if you place him in the right spot like right here he's gonna attack this whole entire area Let's go ahead and hit him with the Erwin buff and see his max potential. He is level 53, keep in mind. Here we go. So with Erwin buff at level 53, range 2 trait, 4,618 damage, 5.6 SPA, 32.5 range. Amazing unit in my opinion, especially because he does do that burn damage. How many can we place for being an evolved mythic? I believe you can still place 4. Okay, so that's really good because I think... 
Correct me if I'm wrong, some mythics you can only place three, so that does have a downfall on them. His damage is a little low for base damage, but keep in mind he does burn. I'm not sure how anime adventure scales their burn damage, but I do know that he is my most OP unit, and I'm going to be using him for sure on raid, story mode, and whatever's to come. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, W or L. Alright you guys, so that does conclude the Tatsura Mythic Evolve Showcase in Anime Adventures. Let me know your thoughts down below by leaving a comment, and don't forget to like the video, and subscribe to see more content in the future. This is Cream Puff K signing out, I want to say peace, and be blessed. Sleeping until the midnight.